first time about his split from Taylor Swift. The actor shares his thoughts on their breakup in a rare interview with the Sunday Times published June 15th, more than a year after the two ended their relationship, saying, I understand people's curiosity. Taylor and I mutually decided to keep the more private details of our relationship private. It was never something to commodify and I see no reason to change that now. Taylor and Joe dated for six years and the couple had been notorious for keeping their romance under wraps. However, that didn't stop the public from weighing in when the stars broke up in April, 2023. With Joe reflecting on the mass public scrutiny saying, what is unusual and abnormal in this situation is that one week later, it's suddenly in the public domain and the outside world is able to weigh in. The 33 year old continues, so you have something very real suddenly thrown into a very unreal space. Tabloids, social media, press, where it is then dissected, speculated on, pulled out of shape beyond recognition. And the truth is, to that last point, there is always going to be a gap between what is known and what is said. When the outlet then asks Joe if he's listened to the Grammy winner's new album, The Tortured Poets Department, he refuses to give a clear answer saying, this isn't a direct answer to your question, but just thinking about what I want to talk about. I hope that anyone and everyone can empathize and understand the difficulties that come with the end of a long, loving, fully committed relationship of six and a half years. This is a hard thing to navigate. Taylor's latest album contains several Easter eggs related to her love life, past and present. Most notably, the name of the album itself is similar to a WhatsApp group chat nicknamed The Tortured Man Club that Joe used to be a part of with fellow actors Paul Mescal and Andrew Scott. And while Taylor has very publicly moved on with Kansas City Chiefs player Travis Kelsey, Joe says he's making the conscious decision to keep his love life out of the public eye. When asked if he's currently dating, he replies, I feel fortunate to be in a really great place in my life, professionally and personally. I'm sure you can appreciate, given the level of noise and scrutiny about my past relationship, why I wouldn't want to just open the doors to things like that right now.